Hey everyone, Joey here, and let me tell you, a week from now, Julie and I are going to be in beautiful Disney, and I'm so excited, but before we can go to Disney, we have to pack. And right now I figured, while I have some time, let me go ahead and put together what I would pack when I go to Disney itself. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and let's get started. So right now we're planning for five days at Disney. And so, I mean, if you're doing more days, you obviously need more than what I give you. If you need less days, we'll subtract what I give you and maybe keep it the same. I, I don't know, it's totally up to you. But let's get started with the bag. Most importantly, the bag you're gonna bring into the park. Obviously, you need a small bag, something that's comfortable because you're gonna be bringing it from ride to ride. And I found out that this bag right here is gonna be the one you want. This bad boy right here doesn't have any types of uh, straps for your back, but it does have wheels and it does have a pulley thing. I promise you for everything that we're gonna need to pack, you're gonna want this bad boy right here. Plus, it's a carry-on for the plane. So, you know, your stuff for Disney is ready to go. But this is the American Tourister. And uh, let me tell you, this thing comes in handy, especially if the kid in front of you cuts, you can just quickly roll it into their knees and then, and then they'll learn their lesson. The next thing on our list is something that a lot of us forget about, batteries. That's right, you'll be using your phone a lot when you go to Disney, and let me tell you, I make sure I bring tons of them. I mean, these are only half of the ones we're gonna bring. I mean, this is probably good for maybe seven hours. Let me keep in mind, you're in the lines for, what, most of the day, you're 12 hours in the park. This should get you through the whole week, but in reality, you probably need more just to be safe and to put in your bag. I mean, you have a big bag, you get all that space, just buy as much as you need. I mean, you can go to Walmart and get these things for like $10. So you're gonna need them to charge your phone, maybe your fan, maybe if you're bringing a portable heater, I don't know, you might bring something different than what I do. But uh, batteries, external batteries, make sure they're charged too, because I've done that once. I brought them and they weren't charged. So uh, yeah, batteries, that's, that's the second thing on our list. The next thing on your list is hat wear. Let's be honest. It is very sunny there in Orlando and you could potentially get some sunburn. So you wanna wear something that does cover your entire head. And so I suggest this wonderful Russian hat right here. To me, no sun is gonna get through this. You're gonna put this on in Disney and you'll be the only one that does not get sunburn whatsoever on their head. Now, I do have to say there's a lot of people that like to wear some kind of fashion, so I do have a solution for that. It's this beautiful little blue hat right here. You could put this on top if you really wanted to, okay? Put that on top, or if you're feeling really, really out there, if you wanna go ahead and maybe only get a little bit of sun in your head, you can forget your Russian hat, and you could just wear the blue one. Let's be honest, this is a good look. This, my friend, is a good look. Now, while we're on the topic of staying nice and cool, a lot of people like to pack some of those electronic fans, but I am very old fashioned, and let me tell you, when it comes to keeping yourself cool, nothing is better than the old way, and you can keep yourself very classy by doing it. I mean, there's a lot of lace fans you can buy. Me, I found the best classy fan you can get. Right here. Nothing says class, like a hat and a mustache. And let me tell you, you're walking down Main Street USA with your hat on your head and your fan, and the only thing people are gonna be saying to you or talking about you is, look how fancy that guy looks. Next, we're gonna talk about packing for clothes. Obviously, we're going for five days. Now, if I do the math correctly, what my wife tells me I need to do, five days equals out two times the amount of shirts plus two more for when I get mustard stains on it. So overall, I need to pack 12 shirts for five days. And here they are. So far, our bag is getting a little bit cramped, but we still have a lot more to put in it. We haven't talked about what we're gonna eat, because let's be honest, it is so expensive to eat in Disney World. So what do I bring? The first thing I bring for food is a box of Cheerios, that's right. A whole box of Cheerios. Now, I do have to say, it's not the family size. Oh, come on, let's be honest. We don't have that much room in the bag. It's a, it's a smaller one. And I mean, this is good to eat halfway through the day. Maybe, you know what those who don't know, around 12 o'clock, most of the lines for the rides kind of slow down a little bit because everyone wants to go eat, not you. You're going to be in line with your Cheerios, getting on more rides because you remember to bring your Cheerios. Now, 
I'm the kind of person that likes bananas with his Cheerios. So I will, of course, bring some bananas with me, maybe two more just so that I have enough, because you never know. Um, and you don't need a bag. You can cut up the bananas, put them right inside, and you're all set. Now, let's talk about dinner, because, you know, this is good for like a breakfast, lunch kind of thing. But dinner is where it is, and I have that covered. Sam's Club sells the perfect thing when it comes to meals at the Magic Kingdom. And it is canned chicken. That's right, you bring your can open, you open this thing up, waiting in line. Once again, everyone's gonna be eating, and you're gonna be riding, you know, I don't know, maybe Space Mountain for the fourth time because you brought your canned chicken. And I know what you're saying, this can't be clean. But if you bring your Lysol, Lysol wipes to be exact, yes it will be. You wipe your hands with this. Heck, you can even eat using this as a napkin once you're done. Wipe your face off. This is perfect to bring with you. The next thing I have is industrial size colored rope. And the main reason for this is because you see those parents running around the park. Some of the kids are wearing backpacks that look like monkeys. And the parents have like the tail ripped, wrapped around them. Not me. I go old school once again. Look at this nice green color rope. I could just tie this around my wife. This way, she doesn't just go wandering off. And the beautiful thing is, this comes in 40 feet. 40 feet, so she can go 40 feet away from me and I could pull her right back. I'll never lose her in the park, it's perfect. And the last thing I'm going to pack is a selfie light. And the main reason why I'm gonna pack a selfie light is because, think about it, it's the nighttime, uh, Cinderella's castle looks beautiful behind you, but if you go to take a picture, it doesn't look good. It looks very blurry. If you want pictures like this, you have to take a good selfie light. Now let me show you the selfie light that I take with me. Now this is my selfie light. It's got a pole, it's got a light, it's got a cord, it's got everything. Now just imagine, you and your wife or your hubby, Outside Cinderella's castle, it's nighttime out there, and you got this light on you, you're holding it, your wife's got the phone out. Let me tell you, you're gonna take the best photo. I mean, that's how we got this photo. And if you want that photo, this light right here will do that for you. All right, let's be honest for a second. I'm not taking any of this stuff with me to Disney. I don't even know what I'm taking to Disney because my wife packs everything for me because I will screw it up. I will screw it up. In all seriousness though, this is my airplane bag. I'm very excited, it's ready packed, ready to go. None of that stuff's in there. But hey guys, thank you for joining me on my vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's funny, it's goofy, that's the kind of person I am. If this is the first time you've ever watched any of my vlogs, I, I really do hope you like it. <laughs> I mean, this is the kind of personality I am, and for those who are still joining us from the Masked Singer stuff, um, if you hated that, you should probably unsubscribe because that's what my vlogs are like. And I am going to Disney next week, so expect some really good vlogs and some good videos. It should be a good time. But thank you for joining me. Please subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell. And as always, we like to do something fun at the end of the video. Go ahead and comment below. Where would you fly to if you had one free ticket anywhere? So, there you go. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you later. Oh, 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 oh,